The company launched the private terminal and services on Friday, January 28, 2022, at an event boycotted by leadership of the Ghana Airport Company Limited and government officials. Leaders within the sector, including the Minister of Transport, Kweku Furie Siyama, refused to attend the event following issues raised against the firm by the Ghana Airport Company Limited. The only notable official seen at the event was the former board chair of the Ghana Airport Company Limited, Madame Obushi Sai Kofi. The project is believed to have set off during her tenure. In a short speech at the ceremony, she congratulated the CEO of Magdan Aviation, Daniel Macaulay, for making his dream a reality. It's very exciting for me to be here today. It's the culmination of a long journey, beginning when I saw a brother of mine from the soil of La, on the coast, with his proposals, which had been sitting around Ghana Airport Company Limited for a while. I don't have a lot to say, but I'm very proud that I've been part of this journey. Um, I hope and pray that it is going to be a really amazing part of the Ghanaian aviation story, the West African aviation story the African story, and indeed the story all around the world. We're capable of competing at any level. And today, this is an example of what people can do when they really, really want to make Ghana proud. Congratulations to everybody who worked on the team, and we are standing by to assist in any way we can. The boycott City News has gathered was because of a number of issues raised by the Ghana Airport Company Limited, which Mr. Macaulay had failed to address. A letter the GACL wrote to the Minister of Transport on January 24, 2022, and cited by City News explained that while Magdan Aviation had satisfied all operational requirements to enable it open for business, it was, quote, yet to fulfill its financial obligations to Ghana Airport Company Limited. Magdan owes GACL a total of 4.5 million US dollars and 227,000 Ghana cities respectively, unquote. It is close further that, quote, as part of negotiating a payment plan, Magdan paid 1 million Ghana cities on January 19, 2022, unquote. The Ghana Airport Company also said Magdan Aviation, quote, is yet to agree on a fixed base operator, that is, private jet terminal operator license fee with GACL, unquote. GACL, in a letter dated January 28, 2022, directed Magdan Aviation to suspend commissioning ceremony following some alleged breaches. The Ghana Airport Company, in the letter to Magdan, said it had, quote, engaged in several activities without prior approval from GACL, which have typically called for emergency corrective actions, unquote. It cited the commencement of the construction of the private jet terminal without a plan of construction operation approval from the GACL as an example. Quote, We only became aware of your construction activities during routine security patrols and we had to ask you to stop and submit a PCO, Plan of Construction Operation, for review and approval before construction continued, unquote. Magdan Aviation received a license to operate as a fixed base operator at the airport in 2019. The letter from the Ghana Airport Company requested that Magdan Aviation should postpone the launch of the private jet lounge on Friday. GACL said it was given short notice to offer logistical support, among others, at the commissioning ceremony. Quote, The nature of our work demands that we should have been given a reasonable period of notice to enable us plan adequately through engagement of relevant staff and stakeholders. The Ghana Airport Company also said, Quote, All attempts to meet with you for discussions in connection with the proposed inauguration over the past three days failed as a result of your failure to turn up for planned meetings, unquote. The conduct of Magdan Aviation also presented security concerns, according to the airport company. It said security was heavily breached at a terminal on January 27 because of the parking of several vehicles in front of the terminal building. Quote, what makes this disturbing is that beyond verbal admonition, we had written to you the previous day, January 26, 2022, to the effect that cars should not be parked there, unquote. It is unclear what the next line of action will be for the Ghana Airport Company Limited on the matter. However, Mr. Macaulay, during the launch, said he was confident the government will support his business to survive. It is about time we take our own country into our own hands 
and drive the vision of this country into the next generation. It's about time we work and break our back to be able to make sure that our children are disciplined and work with integrity. My goal as an individual is to build what I can build for my country. Magdan Aviation is not for Magdan. It's for the business community and top class executives. And this is the only place we will be recognized in the entire business community in the introduction of the continental free trade that we all see what we think is impossible. Now, private jets is no more a luxury. A lot of people think it's a luxury. Private jets is no more a luxury. And this is what McDan Aviation is bringing to the doorstep of the diplomatic corps, the politicians, and the business community as a whole. Ghana Airport Company have really supported me. Civil Aviation have supported me. Madam Boshisai, when he saw the vision that private jet operation in Ghana will be the thing to go in the next world with the introduction of new businesses coming into the continent. I say thank to all of you. We have to defy all hearts and do it because this is our country and we have to stand up for what is good. And I believe that this current government it's a business government, and it will support, it's supporting us and will support us to make a very big difference and a very big impact.